Welcome to the Vigilant Podcast Show, where we talk about everything that is going on in our society, down to the social issues, economy, academical issues, and political issues is not left out or behind. So that is why we are having political issue on our table today. Anyway, I hope you listening to that I don't and them you you just listen to I, I hope it's pleasant to your ear I don't know if you if other states are having our uh, same uh, anthem in their states well if they are not uh, that makes a do the heart they are really the heartbeat of the nation you know so, <laughs> <laughs> so remember this is a state that is heartbeat of the nation literally if anything is happening with the hearts Heart of uh, heart of the body, mm-hmm. so uh, that is all the body is in trouble. So that is why you see anything that is happening in Edo State is always shaking the country. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't but let me, can you can you go with me? Can you flow sure, with me sure, on that? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, it's, it's always very tough. You know, Edo people they are they are known to be full-minded people. Full, they are, their mindset, their intelligence is um, is very broad. So anything that have to do with them is always very, uh, you know, inspiring. So this issue of election, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> you needed to see what <laughs> is going down in those states right now. It's not only affecting the state, it's also affecting the the country because being they are the heartbeat of the nation, you know. Is it? Uh, no, you're, you're, I, th- I think you're right. Um, <laughs> so we, I, I love Edo people. I love Edo people. And um, pretty much like uh, you have it when the minimum wage was being discussed some years back, mm. the government mentioned 30,000 there. The Edo governor mentioned 40,000 there. Now, before this time, Edo Edu, the Edo governor announced 70,000 there as new minimum wage. And now the, the government mentioned 60K. So Edo seems to be leading in every, in every way possible. And we look forward to ensuring that the election that is, is coming forth will be one that will present the best possible candidate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I said let's talk about the best man for Edo right now. The mm-hmm. best man for Edo. Because many candidates, many personalities, you know, full-blown, uh, broad and full-minded people mm-hmm. as candidates. You needed to see the competition. So that is why I said, let's bring this issue of Edo State candidates up, the best man for Edo. But I'm not going to be giving this justice alone. I have Olu Akbelumi away with me here, and hosting today's show is Idea Luisa Grace. And I have intelligent-minded uh, people we have our comrade Fred Inahifo uh, in the house and joining me in the house then we have comrade Osti Irende. So comrade Osti Irende, I, I hope comrade uh, Fred, are you hearing me? Are you with us? I'm hearing you, I'm hearing yes. you. Yes, uh, please, I'm have, you, you have you ever listened to this Edo anthem before? No, 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 not at all. I think it's the first time I'm hearing it. Oh, really? You, you needed to see how, how beautiful and pleasant it is to the year. Our comrade Austin, have you ever listened to a do anthem before? Not at all. Okay, let's, ha- let's have it as we just wait as we listen to it. Ancient city is calling Oh, arise, sons and daughters of the land The king of the city is marching Stand up high to the pride of the land The founding fathers have labor And our time to service now The glory of the new will forever be our pride. Beautiful and a glorious and a you're the heartbeats of Nigeria. Beautiful and a glorious and a stars are singing over you. You're the land people dream. Okay, uh, yeah, welcome from that short break. Uh, for those that are just joining us, this is Vigilant Podcast, and hosting today's show is Idea Lois Grace, and we are having comrade Enahifu Fred on. I, 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 can, can you permit me to call you comrade, uh, Mr. Fred? 
Yeah, that, yeah, 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 you're right with that. <laughs> okay, comrade, that's what, what should I address you with? Am I permitted to call you a comrade? Of course, uh, of course, you're uh, very right. Okay, you're very okay. With that beautiful Edo and Tim that you just listened to, how do you feel? Do you feel proud to be from Edo State right now? Comrade well, Fred, uh, uh, for me, okay. I think uh, that one Tim. Okay, um, Comrade Austin. I think that that item is just uh, a a a brief explanation of who Edo people are. Okay. All right. If you listen to it very well, it talks about our generosity, our you know ethnicity. In fact, it talks about who we are in general in a nutshell. Mm. So I think it's a very little content okay comrade comrade Frey, how are you feeling with that melodious uh, please sound song from edo state you see you see you see everything in that song uh, the atem uh, the, the shortest way to describe it is that is the doing us hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> i'm i might blow it out i'm proud to be from edo state right now but how do you feel <laughs> well i'm the only one on this call who is not from edo state and i'm fine it's okay <laughs> uh, but where are you from i'm from Mikiti state uh, do you have any anthem in your <laughs> well i think we do but i don't know it <laughs> okay yeah I don't know it. that was beautiful so uh the comrades in the house we are going to be talking about the the best man for Edo right now. So I we want to know the best uh, man for Edo because, you know, I, I was literally uh, stating it that uh, being that uh, Edo State is the heartbeat of the nation and anything that is revolving around them, you know, it shakes the country. D do you agree with me on that? Yeah, sure. Uh, comrades, do you agree with me on that? Very true. Oh, no, okay. Yes, 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 of course. Uh, all right, that works. Uh, we are going to be diving into the issue right now. So how is uh, the election practically in Edo State right now? I want to hear from you guys. Yeah, come Fred, I want to hear from you. How is the election going? Oh, okay, uh, okay. First, uh, of, first of all, uh, before uh, telling us how is faring with Edo State, right now i want to like we want to really know who you are because we are we only address you as a comrade so i want to know where the name comrade fred was coming from actually uh, it's not by chance it's not uh, by fluke <laughs> i was uh, opportune to be the president of my department in school mm -hmm. That is a uh, year 2015, right here in Abusali University, Boma Edu State. Okay. So that is when they started addressing us, comrade. Mm. Um, comrade uh, Austin, how, how do we get that comrade attached to your name, sir? All right. Um, well, my name is Irene Augusti. Okay. The one time uh, local government consulship candidate. Mm. But look, I hear that. <laughs> Yeah, so I contested in the just concluded the local government elections. Okay. In the state. Okay. So that's where the comrade is coming from. Okay. Yeah, comrade, thank you very much. So let's let's have an understanding of the political atmosphere at the moment. I know that when it's it's period like this, you have meetings here and there, people playing music. I know that I can imagine that there are posters everywhere. So give us an understanding. Um, we'll start with Comrade Fred, an understanding of the political environment and atmosphere at this time in Edo State. Uh, you know, I actually, I'm not in Edo State at, at the moment, but I'm close. So I do come sometimes and uh, go back to my place of work. Okay. You know, the tension is very high, and uh, the, it's a three horse race between APC, Labour, and uh, PDP. I think uh, at the end, the best candidate will really emerge, but the tension is still really, really, really high, and the campaign has just started. So we are still watching. Okay, but uh, you say you visit Edo State once in a while because you leave, you don't, you don't stay, you are not there at the moment. So let's say that um, in all of your visits, what what party's poster have you seen the most the most on your way to where you are headed to? Yeah, PDP, PDP. <laughs> it's PDP, PDP. PDP. Uh, Mr. Austin, do you agree with that? <laughs> well, uh, I can agree with that, but then. Uh, I would say the atmosphere is very tense. Okay. 
All right, it's very tense. The election is fast at hand, even though it's still a little far, but it's fast at hand. Mm. So every member is trying to work towards what we have at hand. Okay. I can say the PDP, yeah? Okay. Their posters are all over the state. And uh, of course, the Labour Party is not left out. Okay. Oh, oh, the posters okay. are uh, everywhere. Uh, oh, you told us that you contested in the last election. From which party do you uh, yeah. emerge? Yeah. Labour Party. Labour Party. Okay. Party. That defines you. You are a Labour supporter. I, 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 if I may, if I may, hundred uh, percent. Okay, okay, yeah, comrade, uh, comrade uh, Fred, talking about the incoming Edo election and the party's candidate after the whole back and forth of zoning issues, do you think that Edo State came out with the right candidates? And this because and these people that these are the people that can move Edo forward, removing removing Edo state's names from what they used to know them to be. Uh, they, are the, uh, they, are, they, are, they are kind of states that have the bad uh, road uh, road uh, looks. Network. Yeah, and the road, uh, thank you for me, road network and poor infra infrastructure. So how do you think that Edo states make that right decision of bringing out these candidates on board? And actually, I'm not that familiar with the, the other candidates. I okay. told you earlier, it's a three horse race between okay. PDP, APC, and uh, Labour. Okay. And uh, I can really tell you, the PDP candidate mm. is one of the best. Um, Labour, they tried because I knew Apata right from when he was the MBA chairman, president. Okay. Permit me to use the president. So he's a fine candidate. That of the APC. No, I would just, it's, it's not an insult to him. I think we are not, eh? no, a big mistake there. <laughs> well, you, you just stated your opinion on the three candidates. And I, th I think, are you a PDP supporter? Yeah. I, I'm not a proud APC. I'm an APC supporter, but uh, I'm, st I'm standing in defense. I can jump at any time. <laughs> okay, so why, why, are you in why are you in doubt of the APC candidate? Is there something you have said about him, a track record that is not so solid enough to get him to be the leader, the number one person in Edo State? Okay. I, I guess you're in Edo State at the moment, right now. And you are always on air. You can hear him from the media. <laughs> that man is, is not competent enough to govern this state. I'm sorry for using this word, but I have to, that is, I have to be sincere of myself. You understand? Mm -hmm. The last election, I'm proud APC member in that last presidential election. I think I, I work for Labour because I believe the manifesto of uh, Peter Obi. Okay. I'm not a party man. I, 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 I go for the best candidate. So when I check the candidate between APC, PDP, and Labour, I can see no, 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 no. The APC candidate is far behind. He's far behind. Oh, He's wow. far behind. No doubt about that. Wow, I, it, it's amazing to see how that you are a PD, APC, you are an APC supporter, but you are going for the best because you desire a good candidate for no, your state. No, uh, believe me, right now, mm. I, I think I I love what he said mm. because it is it, it should not be based on any party right now. Mm. It is who. Who is the person? Who is the right person that can move us from one state to 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 the best uh, sure, state? Sure. So that that is what we should be considering, not any party. I think I I I should go you, with you, him. You go with that. <laughs> but I think, uh, Comrade Austin, when you were introducing yourself, you mentioned that you are an hundred percent Labour Party members. I want to I want to have an understanding because it looks like you are in there fully. Why do you think do you think um, Mr. Akpata can do a great job? Or who is your number one candidate? If I would ask. Oh, thank you very much for that question. Just like my fellow comrades explained earlier, yes, we have three strings in this uh, political race, and every party believes they are candidates. They have one or two qualities that makes them believe in their candidates. If you understand, no candidate is a waste. But let me tell you this for a fact. Mr. or Dr. Olumide Osaibovu Akbata, is the right man for the job. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> here, right. here is my question now. Uh, <laughs> I'm not to <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, here is my question to you now. Um, you know, we saw the last presidential election, the move from the Labour Party was yeah. all about fairness, equity, and yeah. justice. Okay, 
But in the case of yeah. Olumide Akbata, would that be the same view? Whereby, because I, I saw when uh, Edo people are soliciting that the next uh, governor should, yeah. f- uh, with the uh, state of justice and fairness, the next governor should come from the Edo Central. So now, Olum, Olumide yeah. Akbata is not coming from Edo Central in zoning. Do you, how do you justify this? What do you have to say about that? Well, uh, if you trace, if you trace them very well, mm. one part Edo Central and one part Edo State, you, under, you understand. Mm. So, I think he's the right man. I don't know how you want to look at it. <laughs> he's one. He, I think his mother, from his mother's side, is from Edo Central, so he's qualified for the job. He's qualified. Well, right. the... <laughs> well apart from mm-hmm. uh, zoning, let, let's let's look at other qualities that makes him uh, qualified for the job. Sure, sure. Okay, you... about zoning. Now let's look for who can do the job. Okay. Okay. Speaking about you other understand? qualities of who can do the job, I, um, I would just since uh, the uh, Comrade Fred is pitching his tent towards the man, the APC, uh, PDP candidate, and you are pitching your tent strongly for um, Dr. Lumidi Akpata. We're going to try to look at what are the things you have seen in their past that you think would make each of them, either of them, emerge as the as the um, governor of Edo State. So we have, we know that there are three, there are three people that are stand and in the forefront and we seem yeah. to, we, we all seem to have ruled out the APC man and the Lord is your shepherd. <laughs> but, <laughs> I want to know. So I want to have. Uh, I want to have Comrade, uh, Comrade Austin go first. So, what are the qualities you think that Doctor Olumide Akpata? What What is his track record that qualifies him to emerge as the number one candidate right. in the state? All right. First of all, we see Mr. Olumide Saibuvu Akpata is a compassionate man. Is a well learned man. You understand? Yeah, he's well educated. He knows his onions. Okay, he has his track record. He was one time president of the NBA. And if you look at the records, he performed very well. Even during the Elsa's uh, protest, period, yeah. he stood with the youth. Okay. He's a man for the youth. Mm. He's a man of truth. All right. So if you if you look down his history, you see that he has been able to achieve a record for himself. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So I think if, if I begin to mention if I begin to mention uh, most of the, the the history that makes okay. me believe in him, I think we'll, we'll, it's not, not a lot of time here. No, you bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now um, let's ha- let's hear from Comrade Fred. Comrade Fred, why why do you think the PDP candidate deserves to lead the state? <laughs> Uh, I, to my dear friend there, Austin, that he said we should forget about Zoni. I, I will come to your question. He said we should forget about Zoni. And I really support that we should forget about Zoni. What I'm saying is that, assume, that is, assuming uh, Aswe is from uh, due south, okay. I will still go for Aswe. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because Aswe, to support Aswe, nobody convinced me to support Aswe. Nobody seduced me to convince Aswe. Uh, to, uh, to converse for him. I fell in love with his CV. Okay. I have gone through every, all his profile. No, the man is the best for the job. Okay. He is the real manager who can manage a do state okay. right at this moment. Okay. Because you know the, the situation of the country now, we need, we need an expert. Mm. So you don't you don't just hand over a governor a, a state to somebody, maybe because of politician, because of politics, mm-hmm. let somebody like uh, you say, because we are in the APC, you can bring Tony Kabaka to governor and do state, <laughs> and uh, you can defend it. He's a youth, he can do this, he can do this. No, now we need the best man for the job. Go and check. I would advise us to go and look at um, Aswe profile in CV. You will be convinced. Okay, we we will be convinced. We support it as well. We heard that clear. Uh, okay, sorry, com- uh, uh, comrade. Uh, <laughs> can I ask you a question, please? Yes, yes, yeah, I'm with you. Have you taken your time to look through Doctor Osai Bovakwata's profile? Yes, I have gone through his profile. I'm, I'm, I'm I think I, it's okay. It's okay, but you know, the, uh, you can't you, you can't see too best. Hmm. Akpata, Akpata's, Akpata, uh, Akpata is good. But Aswa is the best. We need the best. <laughs> I think for me, Akpata is the best. Uh, okay, right. okay <laughs> we, are, we are not bringing you people up to have this argument right now. Our comrade Fred, there is always a feeling that anytime a governor 
and the incumbent uh, governor is more interested in who succeed him. That that means it means that there is something to hide. Maybe there is something in his administration that he wants to hide uh, under this person. So with the pre- because that is everybody's notion. So with the present governor Obaseke bringing Igodalo on board, supporting him to run the election. Do you think people's notion about all of this I have narrated is is right? No, 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 no. They might, think, you know, you, Homer. Mm. They are doubting Thomas. They, they can think uh, <laughs> about it like that. Okay. But just, a, just a flashback uh, to 2016 when um, Obasaki was uh, coming in as a, the governor of Edo State. I think Oshomole mm. hand over the bat to him to yeah. continue. Okay. Oshomole described uh, Obasaki. Uh, he said he's the brain boss behind this government mm. because Obasaki is he is an economic guru. He's an expert. So I, I do think it could have been even better place more than this. They, 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 you see, they are just distracting him, both from PDP, both from the APC. You understand? So what I'm saying now is uh, Obasaki bringing in elsewhere. Mm. He just want the trend to continue. Oh. Because even when Oshomole was the governor, Aswe was part of their government. It was part of their economic team. Okay. They knew Aswe very well as an expert. So that is why Obasaki wants to choose another good expert to continue from his legacy. I don't think there is, an, I'm not suspecting anything. And uh, the best will come out from Edo State. Okay, talking about uh, bringing him up, or there's, not, there's nothing to hide. Do you do you really see anything that Obasaki have done that uh, Aswe Igodalo want to continue? Because when you, I don't know if you have uh, if you have been to uh, Benin City. In, 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 let me just say, Edo State Era. Like everybody are talking about, there is nothing Obaseki uh, have done in his administration with every of his promises. Uh, talking about the Gelegele support he promised us, the employment and uh, the health infrastructure that he promised us, there was nothing he 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 made into fulfillment. So, do you think that this is the kind of uh, legacy he put down that uh, Aswe Godalo want to continue? Thank you very much, man, for this question. I think uh, there are projects that can take you eight years. There are projects that can take you 12 years. Mm. There are projects that can take you two years, one year. So okay. you don't blame Abbasaki because of this gilly gilly support. He's not bringing Aswe to finish the job. Is there any proof that they have started this, uh, these uh, projects? Have you gone to the site? <laughs> no, I think you are full blood at those things. So I want to know. I, I really want to hear from you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't. Who, who, let me tell you again, woman. You know they they are liver twist. You be hearing the Obasaki do this because Obasaki is not sharing money. Mm. If Obasaki is by beer in the beer parlor, everywhere is busy. They will tell you, ah, this governor is trying. Obasaki is doing is doing marvelously well. Austin, we we attest to this. Unlike other, can you that? I can attest to that. Oh, really? I don't, don't you think you are shooting yourself? With you disagree with you. 100%. Okay, disagree. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, let me do you see the back of it. If Austin, 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 if you disagree with me, but you are living in those states, you are enjoying the environment. Exactly. You are living in those states. I'm the yeah. one enduring. Hmm. You are not enduring. You are not enduring. So you are enduring. 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 Okay. Not oh, okay. So let, let's let's get the perspective of Comrade Austin, and I will also get back to Comrade Fred to mention. You know, it's just best that because people listening now want to just get some facts right to say what are the things that we can see to say. Okay, in the last eight years of the governorship, being the governor of a do state of um, Governor Basaki, these are the things he has done. Um, I'm going to have um, Comrade, uh, Comrade Austin. Would you tell us um, in what ways? Because I know you you're there most likely, and then you see things happen. What are the things you think he could have done right that is not is not right at the moment in Edo State? Thank you very much, sir. Uh, when you say you give an assignment to someone and finish it, at least you start it. Let's say you have started something and you are, you are finishing it. Then okay, and let's see how far you can go about it. Now, this is eight years past. This man has not done anything. Is it uh, the infrastructure? Is it the road? So come to be and experience it yourself. Is it the, the, the police? 
he planted the building that are destroying things instead of repairing things. I don't know if you have heard of Obas. They are the terrorists in the town now. Mm. Is that one of his achievements? That's my question. Is that one of his achievements? Believe How me. many good roads can you point that this is the road that this man did when he, he was in government? There is nothing. So if you are telling me he's bringing the uh, asware to continue his work, that means you are telling me he's bringing asware for us to continue the suffering. Hello? Mm, yeah, we, we, we got that. We got that. Okay. Okay. That, so come, come, there is okay. nothing absolutely he has done in other states. And well, how about the uh, minimum wage 10,000 uh, on the national? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, talking about the minimum wage, which... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, is there anything, yeah? 30,000 that I can do for you now as a man, without family. But I, I think he a still tried. If, a, na- if the national president cannot offer us that and uh, the state governor can offer us that, don't you think is a move? Well, it's a move, actually. It's a move, but if you look at it, you see, see that inside there is still not a move. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. Now you cannot be giving us a minimum wage while nothing is working. Even if you give us hundred thousand as minimum wage and nothing is working, it's nothing because we end up spending than what we end. Okay. You uh, understand? Yes. I so guess. if you are putting things in place and you are even giving us nothing, we will manage. But no, you are not even putting anything in place. You are telling us about. A minimum wage. <laughs> okay, so course. so in in rating in rating um a, a, a governor's performance, sometimes you want to rate it in terms of infrastructure, electricity, hospitals, and all. Um, and I think just to be very sure what you said, you said go there. yeah. So not <laughs> <laughs> security wise zero. Is that is that your grading of his? Oh God, you know? sir, sir. I don't know if you have heard anything about Benin recently. If you know the number of people dying daily. Today now I can tell you practically that three people have died in Benin. Uh, from, from, there. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, so we, 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 we go to level is mm-hmm. zero. Zero. Infrastructure zero. Yeah. What are you telling me? I, 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 I guess Comrade Fred would would disagree with that totally because yes, Comrade Fred. Hello, sir. Yes. I'm hearing you. Yes. You, you I, see, I, I, yes. I'll see just the, uh, Austin is just being too biased. <laughs> Instead of Austin to challenge his energy to the federal government, mm. he said people are suffering. <laughs> people are suffering in the world Nigeria. You understand? People are suffering in Abia State. We are a Labour Party, uh, uh, Labour uh, LP, it's uh, the government. Oh. I mean, people are suffering everywhere. It's not the, it's not the, um, the problem of uh, Obaseki that we are suffering. Mm. So channel your energy to the, uh, the, uh, the president that is Tinibu. Okay. He's killing the government. Obaseki okay. is even struggling and trying to use every in, in that is in, in, everything to succeed in a new state. I think we need to encourage him. Okay. No one is perfect. I said I belong to the school of thought. There's no perfection in humanity. Obaseki is trying. We well, just need to encourage him. He's trying. We com- are lucky to have a person like Obaseki okay, that, in the that, government that, presently. Com- comrade, comrade Austin, when you were campaigning the last time you campaigned, what, what, what were your top three Manifestos, promises? Yes, yes. Yes. Let's get to here. Thank you. Thank you. One of my <laughs> manifestos was, was during the period of election, my 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 ward was out of electricity for more than seven months. And I promised to bring back, restore the, the electricity because the transformer was faulty. And we needed almost one million naira to repair that, uh, the, the, the transformer. That was one of my manifestos. Okay. Uh, and how... Okay, and how did you intend to get that done? Were you able to succeed getting that done? Come on, Austin, we, we lost you a bit. I said, um, how were you, how did you decide or how did you have it in mind to get that done? Yes, I started that, not uh, just me, that just supported me financially and I did that project 100%. Who supported because you? Because propaganda in the policies, Sorry, who supported you? Committee of Friends. I have friends. Okay. Friends. Uh, friends under the umbrella of the Labour Party too. Right. Under they the umbrella of the Labour Party. Able, APC and PDP. Okay. Just because no, they believe in you. APC and PDP. They mm. supported me. Okay. Yeah, they believed in me. Mm. And 
they saw my 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 capacity. So when I told my people I wanted to restore the light, they thought I was playing. You know, after a week after making that promise, I started that project. The transformer was dropped and it was repaired. Hundred percent. I paid full. Like they charged me nine hundred thousand naira. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> the project was started and they fixed it. Oh. But there was a propaganda mm. that made them not to bring that light on the day of election. Okay. Because they thought if they brought that light before election, that worked in your favor. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. okay. The, the, you yeah. Your second promise. Because of that, yeah. you didn't have that light. Yes. The second promise was I was going to put another boy hole in the community if I emerged the winner. Because I just spent a lot in electricity and I, I would need some funds. All right. So I could not achieve that because I didn't win. Okay. And I went to the villages, some camps, and I made, I was going to put some boreholes for them too. And a uh, solar system because I don't think they have electricity over there. So I promised them solar systems if I emerge the winner. Okay. But the one I did that everybody knows, the electricity, I, I fulfilled that promise 100%. Hmm. All right. Uh, we get that clearly. Uh, comrade uh, Fred, uh, over to you, you. Over to you. Uh, don't you think the sin of the father we caught up with the son? Uh, in as much we had the rumor of uh, Obaseki in Swedi, great Oba of Bini, which the uh, Bini respected so much. You know how Bini respected their their king, their king. So don't you think this is going to affect uh, Aswe Godalo in his election run? Do you hear me very do you hear my question? question? Okay. Yeah, I hear the clearly. Okay. I hear the clearly. Right. But are you sure of what you are saying that Obasa is sued the Oba of Bini? No, no, you, you you are in the state, so I, I want to know. That, that was actually the rumor. No, 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 Even no. With, with the media, you that, you are in that, you are in the media now, you know what came up and all of that. Yes, that, that is a rumor. That is a rumor. And there is a press release that the book that rumor many, many times. Okay. That is just a rumor. That is the work of APC and same label. But we saw to the market we, we saw vi- we saw videos of uh, the chief dances the 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 chief uh, uh personnel uh, yes in the in the court uh, premises uh solic- uh, that is on behalf of the of the king uh, is that a rumor also no, that is not a rumor i think they sued the other Abini to court and uh, along with the state government they sued Obasaki himself to court okay so they are rumor have their own rights. I'm not saying they are. They, in, I'm not saying what they did is right or wrong because I don't really know their grievance. But they are human. I think they, they have to go to court for redress. Oh, th- th- my question is that I don't you think don't it's going to with them with okay, no, okay, okay, okay. And you were talking about uh, APC not uh, be on the race that let, let like we should push APC aside. <laughs> that was, I think, if I could hear you correctly, maybe with your uh analysis. Uh, don't you think the federal uh power is going to be covering them up? That is that is exactly what they rely on the federal might because mm-hmm. go and go and ask about fifty uh, percent. Let me say fifty percent of APC supporters in the do state. Mm-hmm. They will tell you that uh, uh, Tinibu assured them that he will give them a do state back. <laughs> uh, they forgot that I do, I do not be Lagos. It, that slogan is still there okay. and it will remain. I do not be Lagos. Okay, that, that 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 was beautiful. But let me. Do you have any question for them again? Um, that was beautiful having you people on the show. <laughs> but before you go now, can you give us um? A quick, uh, the audience, a quick advice, uh, like the people of uh, Edo State right now, a quick advice of what to do, how to run this uh, election peacefully and how to bring the best man for Edo State. Yes. Comrade Fred. Comrade Fred. Hello? Yeah, I said before you go. I'm with you, I'm with yeah, you. before you go now, can you quickly give uh, the people of Edo a little advice on how to run this uh, incoming election, on how to bring the best man for Edo State, just as you claim that Aswe Godalo is the best. Can you give them a short advice? 
Okay, my advice for this, very short advice for this, uh, they should uh, raise the election with a peaceful mind and uh, they should vote for a candidate, not the party. Okay. If we vote for the best candidate, they, they think, okay. and they should avoid party because both APC, PDP, and uh, Labour, I think uh, you don't need to vote for party. Okay. Vote for your candidate. And I swear he's the one to lead the state. I swear he's the one to lead. Uh, Comrade Dustin, what advice will you be having for the people of Edo right now? All right. Uh, I would just say, vote, vote your mind. Eh? Just come back and vote. <laughs> now, this problem of the uh, state power is a really big problem in Nigeria politics. Mm. Because this thing affected me so much. Okay. All right. Down to the local government. Okay. State power played its role in my election. So mm. if uh, the APC are saying they are believing in the federal power, don't forget that the PDP are also believing in state power. Mm. So the Labour Party is just on its own, trying to do its best. So what my advice is that, forget about the state power. If you want to vote, just go out on that, vote your choice. Forget about what the state or the federal power is going to do. Mm. Just vote your choice and leave the rest for the system. Mm. Thank you. Comrade Austin, um, in the in the event that you did not emerge as the winner during the last election, did it ever cross your mind to go and unplug the transformer you bought and <laughs> say <laughs> And let me tell you this for a fact. I just came back from the village two days ago and I saw that a new transformer was inserted there. And the mm. transformer which I repaired mm. was just laying there mm. for nothing. And I told the people that this transformer, I'm going to, I'm going to implant it in the next village, so that we can have two transformer in the in the in the, in the mm. world. Um, so because I I lose the election doesn't mean uh, I'm I'm backing off from. Doing, you, are, you are a good. You, you deserve a round of applause, oh. actually. A standing <laughs> ovation right now. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Right. Yeah, standing ovation for you, <laughs> Mr. Thank you. Comrade thank Austin. You. Yeah, Comrade Fred and Comrade Austin, thank you for joining me on the show with Oluak Belumiawe. This was enjoyable having both of you on the show. All I will say, let's keep our finger crossed. I know Edo people are wise. They are they are the most smart people in uh, in the country. I'll, I'm always very proud of them. So let's just keep our finger crossed. And I just hope their conscience is not going to be bought. And a short advice to Edo people is vote right in this next election. Don't uh don't don't allow anything to obstruct your your conscience and everything every every trust you have in your candidate. This is where I'm going to be drawing the the curtain right now until we come your way next time next space. Thank you very much and bye. Thank you.